Hey everybody, it's time for a book named Round Trip. Is that the right way? Round Trip. Have you ever been on a round trip? What's that mean? Go around and then trip and fall. No, not that kind of trip. You get to go on a trip and when you go, then you come back. It's called a round trip. So if you go and you stay there and you don't come back, it's one way. If you come back, it's a round trip. So let's go on a round trip and come back again. Round Trip by Ann Jonas. You're not going to believe this book. It's really unique, different, special, weird, awesome. Okay, check it out. All in black and white. We started out as soon as it was light. Our neighborhood was quiet. The houses dark. The sun shone on the pond. Town was empty. The stores still closed. We passed a small farm in the valley and fields of wheat. We counted the cars on a train. See the train? The road wound through the mountains. Trails led into the woods. On the highway, we headed for the coast. Uh oh, can't turn the page. The water was rough, the waves were high. Ooh, look at that. Watch out for the high waves. We followed the shore past marshy inlets and summer cottages. Then we saw the city. All right, they were at the city. Look at the skyscrapers. We crossed a bridge. And we were there. Have you been to a big city like that and looked up at the tall buildings? After parking the car, we rode the subway. Subway, I thought that's where you get sandwiches. Subway, oh, it's a train. <laughs> There's a train called the subway. It's not just a sandwich store. And you get on it and it rides under the, usually underground to take you somewhere instead of using a car. Then we went to a movie. And to the top of the tallest building, we looked down. Ah, watch out, it's so steep falling down. We watched as the sun set. Time to turn around. Uh-oh, there's no more pages in my book. What am I gonna do? It said turn around, like, like, like this, you mean? Turn the book around? Oh, let's see what happens. Oh, there's more words down here. Now the book's going the other way. The sky was dark, lights came on all over the city. So see, first it was like this, and now it looks like that. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. Back on the street, we looked up at where we had been. Now we're looking up instead of looking down. Wow. Then we had dinner in a restaurant. That was the subway, wasn't it? Was that? No, that was the movie theater. And then we had dinner in a restaurant. This is so clever. And picked up our car from the garage. We left the shining starlit city. <gasps> Look at now, the sky is dark and the skyscrapers are white because it's nighttime now. In the country, telephone poles line the road. We looked back, searchlights pierced the sky. These are lights shooting out from the tall buildings. We saw fireworks and stopped to watch. As the smoke from the fireworks drifted away and the birds resettled in the trees, we drove on. We went under an expressway or freeway. There's different names in different states. Lightning flashed across the sky. It rained hard and puddles formed. We passed smoky factories See, now that's smoke coming out. We took the tunnel under the river. Uh-oh, go under the river. Under, 
and so soon saw our moonlit street. Here's their street. They're back home. Here's the moon. Home again. Isn't that amazing how they could draw the pictures? One way, it looks like they're starting out, and at night they came home. Wasn't that cool? Did you want to see me turn it around a little bit sometimes for you? Let's see. We had the restaurant. Oh, we saw that one. Let's turn this one around. Picked up our car, and it was the subway. What was this one? This was the sky at night and the sky in the daytime. Cool. How about this one? This was a bridge, and it became a tunnel. Uh, let's see. Was it a tunnel? No, it was telephone poles. That's a pretty cool story. Round Trip by Ann Jonas. This is what it looks like. Hope you enjoyed that. Have fun. See you next time.